A dog that was missing from a man's farm was found and taken to a shelter where he was euthanized. Hello, everybody. I'm Heather Hayes. And I'm Steve Eager. It happened before the owner says he had time to reclaim his lab named Gunner. Fox News' Alex Boyer is in Denton and has learned police are now involved. Alex. Yeah, that's right. And Gunner's owner tells me that it was less than 24 hours that the dog had been brought to the shelter that he was euthanized. Now, staff at the shelter says that they made repeated efforts to try to get in contact uh, with the owner, but were not able to do so. And they say because Gunner was in severe pain, they made the difficult decision to euthanize him. As you mentioned, we now know that Denton police are investigating. She's my Australia Shepherd. And she loves to play. John Gilcrease's pack is missing one. Last week, his 12 year old Labrador retriever named Gunner was euthanized by Denton Animal Services. There's a lot of unanswered questions that I'm hoping that they get aired out. Last Tuesday, someone brought Gunner to Denton Animal Services. That person claimed they found the dog near Interstate 35 and West University in Denton. Gilcrease said he didn't realize Gunner was missing until Tuesday night. They managed to track him down at the shelter, but it's closed on Wednesday. Gilcrease said when he got there first thing Thursday morning, Gunner had already been euthanized. I've yet to receive a phone call from the city. I have yet to receive a, uh, an apology, my condolences, nothing. In a lengthy statement to Fox 4 News, a city of Denton spokesperson said in part, Gunner was unable to walk without assistance and had no control over his bowels or bladder. After a full veterinary evaluation, it was clear that he was in immense discomfort. Adding that, our staff attempted to contact the individual listed on Gunner's microchip, but the email addresses bounced back and the phone numbers were disconnected. Our staff also researched the name associated with the microchip and called all all associated numbers, but were unable to reach anyone. Further stating, given Gunner's degenerative condition and severe suffering, our staff acted within policy to humanely euthanize him. A dented police detective showed up to Gilcrease's farm in Crum as we were talking to him Monday and says an investigation is underway. I'm here to find out the truth. Gilcrease told me an earlier physical diagnosis from a veterinarian months ago determined Gunner had a degenerative disease that was possibly life-threatening. But Gilcrease said that after doing some testing, it was determined that Gunner actually had chronic arthritis and that with medication and a change in diet was improving. Yeah, he had arthritis. He was old. He was a couple weeks away from his 13th birthday, and every every year we give him a birthday cake and we sing happy birthday to our puppies. It's what we do, and the city took that from me this time. And in a statement, I can tell you that the city says that it is conducting a comprehensive review of all of its processes and as well as its internal policy to see if there is any additional ways that they can help support animals in their care, adding that they will share the results of that uh, comprehensive finding once it is complete. Back to you. All right, Alex Boyer in Denton tonight. Alex, thanks.